welcome to another live stream. I'm going to hopefully finish this page now. And I'll start with all the Druvent Inktons work. And I have already picked out some colors. Thank you for the hats. I'm going to use Fern, Beach Green, some Light Olive, a little bit of Mustard. And I have already used Ionian Green for the background and the leaves. And thank you so much. Let me see. I think I'll start with Beach Green I'm using a water brush. Just a cheap no brain <laughs> no brand water brush. And I'm just going to quite randomly color the leaves. And as always feel free to ask me anything. I will do my best to answer. Thank you so much for the hearts. really makes me happy to see while I'm coloring. <sighs> Thank you. This paper is so amazing with intense. Just glides on and makes it possible to get really really smooth coloring. This is the best paper I have ever tried with Inktons. It's so nice. I think I'll add a bit of here as well. All right. Next color. I think I'll take Phone. Same technique to add some warmth. This is one of my favorite incense colors. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Yes, they are Derwent Ink Tints. And they work just perfectly on this paper. Hello, and thank you for joining me on my morning coloring. <laughs> Can't wait to finish this page. It really has been a work in progress for way too long. It is so cute. It deserves to be finished. Mm, I think I'll go in a bit here as well. Next color will be light olive. <coughs> ah, thank you, I'm so happy you wouldn't miss it. I think it's so much fun streaming. <laughs> I'm chatting to all of you while coloring. Thank you. Yes, it's Inktons. I will use mostly Inktons today and then I will add some details with polychromas later. All these acorns will be done with polychromas, for example. Exactly like I'm doing now, I just take some ink on the pencil, small circles, smoothing it out. It really is because of the paper. The paper is so wonderful because the ink tints doesn't go into the paper right away. It stays on the surface for quite a while. So you have lots of time to make sure it will be nice and smooth. You're welcome. It's just a dream to use ink tins on this paper. <laughs> I can't say it enough. Ah, oh, that's great. I'm using them now. <laughs> For details I usually use them like this, but for big spaces I scribble the pencil on first and then I go in like this to smooth it all out. Alright, 
time for some mustard. Feeling quite brave using a color like this in leaves. <laughs> but I feel this page is quite warm, so it'll fit nicely, I hope. I know I have taken my time continuing this pitch, but I will finish it today. I promise. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you like it. When I first started this page, I was so afraid of ruining it. But then I just jumped into it. And it has been so much fun. I'm dabbing right now to hopefully make the color more intense down here. Just wiped my brush. I love how all the leaves get all different colors. Good morning and thank you so much. go back in with some Ionian green to get a bit more darkness somewhere. I think some of the leaves are a bit too light. This technique would not be possible in another book with different kind of paper. This is only possible because the ink tint stays on the surface for quite a while. Almost finished with the leaves, I think. Thank you for the hearts. All right. Just a bit of darkness here.
on that. Don't want to overwork it. Let's see the leaves down here. We will be using light olive and mustard and fern again. But I have to find one more quite dark green. Let's look at my swatches. Um, some leaf green maybe? That could be fun. Let's find it. There it is. I'm thinking of starting with mustard this time. Again, I'm going in with my lightest. No, my smallest, sorry. <laughs> oh, I have to adjust the tripod. Just a moment. There we go. My smallest little detail water brush. And my mustard ink tents. I want these leaves to be quite yellow. With a hint of green, of course. But mostly yellow to add to that autumn and warm feel of the page. Thank you for the hearts. Adjusting a little bit again. Oh, it's going to tilt. Don't do that. <laughs> I've got a new tripod and I'm getting used to it. Thank you very much. I'm really happy you like it. Going to use the leaf green now. Going back over here. Leaf green. No, uh, I have used ink tints for the trees in the background. I've used Prismacolor for her hair and her dress. Her skin is polychromous, the fox is polychromous, all the leaves down here. That is already colors is polychromous. This fairy thing is polychromous, butterfly polychromous. All of this down here is polychromous as well. So it's a nice mix of <laughs> different media. The grass is polychromous as well. Don't tilt. Please don't tilt. <laughs> My boyfriend and I are going to build some kind of filming stand. So I can get a bit farther away and show you more at the time. And there will be no tilting tripods. <laughs> Just have to figure out how it'll work. Because this is not ideal right now. Go in with some fern. Hopefully make it stand. Not far. <laughs> Just make it more green at the bottom.
There we go. A lot of ink. I might go in with some glitter for the dots and some highlights when I'm all finished. Oh, that was a lot of hearts. Did you like the glitter idea? <laughs> I hope you did because I'm in a glittery mood let's go down here for the big leaves if I can get my tripod to stand and not fall all right there we go starting with mustard again for the base color Thank you for the hearts. Want it to be a bit more? Yeah, there you go. Hello. <laughs> Want the leaves down here to be really saturated with yellow. Because they are bigger and older than the ones in the background. Thank you very much. Then it's going to be lighter as we go up. That's going to make it smooth. Good morning. Again with the leaf green. There you go. going to add a bit around the middle thank you very much just a little bit to give the leaf a bit more dimension it wanted to show up too much that's a bit annoying <laughs> Going in. yes you do need ink things in your life they are amazing and they are so good for detail and backgrounds you can use them for anything and you can layer them and layer them and layer them and layer them without problem. Going in with the fern. Also they last forever. I have had mine for well, almost a year soon. And you see I haven't even sharpened this one. It is just out of the box and I have used them many 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 times. So ink tents is a great bit. You get a lot for your money. And I have never had any ink tents bleed through. That's a big bonus as well. But of course you should always test your paper. Yes, this will be on YouTube. All my live streams from now on and into the future will be on YouTube. Going in with no, not a light olive. I think I'll use my onion green. Oh, there you go. I've had a lot of people not wanting to miss my live streams, so I'm saving them and putting them on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> and you can also decide which parts you want to see and watch them again if you want to 
Makes it a bit more versatile. All right, next leaf. There it is. Must start again. Get a lot of color. Be careful not to color the cat. Don't want the yellow cat. <laughs> Layer. Time for some, let's see, leaf green. Thank you. Have to smooth it out on the background. <laughs> Luckily, you can always do that with incense, no problem. and some rolling pencils <laughs> rolling around pencils <laughs> they have their own life sometimes quite dark green right now that's all right leaves have their own life as well <laughs> all right things a leaf it's a bit too green there we go very quick with incense. Just give you a quick overview. I love it. Oh, thank you very much. Let me have a go at these mushrooms. I'll just put my pencils back in the case so I don't have them rolling all around. Thank you. If you have any suggestions, just feel free to tell me. I would love to hear them. All right. Seems like I'm missing a pencil can't Which color should we use? Yes. We'll use Shiraz, a little bit of red violet, some dusky purple and some crimson. That'll be fun. Where did my water brush go? There it is. I think we'll start with the Shiraz. Just a light layer. And I'm not going to worry about the dots because I will add glitter. I'll make two of the mushrooms a bit more red and two a bit more purple. 
going in with dusky purple and just a base layer okay some crimson Little bit of crimson over here as well. Going in with two eyes again. Going to darken up the dark parts of the mushrooms. Dab, 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 dab. Love this color. With dusty purple skin again. Still have a bit of shiraz in my pen brush. We will add a bit more warmth. Going in with the wet violet now. I think I'll go in with a bit of pencil later to really shake these mushrooms before I add the glitter of course. Alright, the stems. Let me see. Some matte brown perhaps could be fun. Don't want them to be grey. <coughs> Here we have it, just a light coating and I will shade with pencils later. I want these mushrooms to be a nice pop of color along with all the green. <laughs> all right, what should we do with the flowers? I think I'll go with ink tents and then pencil shading. Oh, I just just saw I missed a bit of leaf over here. Let's quickly go in with some mustard to cover it up. <laughs> there we go. Shouldn't go around missing tiny bits and pieces. <laughs> Have some mist down here as well. Just take it with iron green. I feel like my nails is always matching whatever I'm coloring. <laughs> I promise you it's not on purpose. Not sure how it keeps happening. Perhaps because I color after my mood and I paint my nails after mood as well. Don't know. <laughs> Have a bit of that kind of leaf here as well I think. So we'll use an iron queen here. Okay, I'll use it up here as well. The stem and then I missed gone out to the background. We'll fix that quickly. The stem is getting iron green as well. And this one and these. And as I said before, for all the flowers, I will go in and shade with my pencils hello again 
warm green to make the leaf a bit more interesting. I think since one color is never enough, you always need to mix and match quite many. That is my golden rule of intense. Always use more than one color. <laughs> At least three, I think. It makes the nicest color. Oops, the tripod was in the way. And I will add some shading with pencil behind all the leaves when I'm done. I think it'll look nice. Bit of this one here. There we go. On to some flowers now. I'll just add a light wash and then we'll go in with polychromos in a bit. I think it'll be nice. <laughs> I'm so happy we are almost finished. This little guy. He needs some dusty purple, doesn't he? Dusky purple it is. Nice watch. Wash of color on him. So he'll be ready to be shaded. I think I want these flowers to be purple as well. bit darker in the middle and some of the leaves darkness just remember it's just the base layer and we will go in with other colors and get a bit of crimson on the leaf to add some warmth. Just a little bit, not a lot. All right. These can be red, I think. <laughs> not a true red, a pinky red. So that's why I'll use Shivas. Shiraz is one of my favorite intense colors. It is so versatile. <laughs> I love my new color tools now. They are amazing for backgrounds. But I'm not using it them as everyone else's. I have to use my fingers as well because I don't like the way they go on the paper without fingers. <laughs> but it's okay to involve your fingers in coloring. It all makes it so much more fun. Alright. <coughs> These two types. Oh, let's go in with some red violet. Thank you. I have uploaded two tutorials on YouTube where I use my ink tints. No, not ink tints, I'm sorry. Uh, new color tools. And my latest work in progress is with a new color two background as well. So I like them quite a lot. They are incredibly quick to use.
Alright. Mm, the other leaves. We'll just look at my little book. Mm. No, it sounds strange, but why not use some matte brown? Sometimes you just have to try new things. Most of the times it will work out just fine. I'm so sorry if I was out of frame before. I didn't notice. I have to be careful here. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> more dark there you go all right should oh i missed some flowers over here i think they were shivers can't go around missing flowers <laughs> good should we put a wash on this cute little mouse i want it to be some kind of not too dark brown gray let me see bark a light coating of bark might be good then i can shade it with gray I like this color for the little red. That's a cute color. I think I'll add a light coating of oak on all the acorns as well. And I'm using oak. Just a very light layer. to wear it too much because the shading will be done with pencil the wash of ink tens will add a bit more texture to the paper it will make sure that the pencils will lay much nicer My boyfriend just came home from the bakery. That's why he's making so much noise. <laughs> so once I'm done with this, I will go, but I'll be back later with my pencils. All right. Time to go now. It's breakfast time. Thank you so much for watching. 
Hello and welcome back. Time to add the polychromas. I'm going in with my dark sepia. For the top of the acorns. Just going to shade them. I think that is the bottom part of a acorn, isn't it? All right. I'll go in with. I can reach it. There it is. Caput Mortar to add some warmth. Now I'll let some of the ink tints pick through as the highlight. And as always, feel free to ask any questions. <clears throat> Just have to move the paper here so I don't get any stupid lines. Gotta make the stems this color as well. Covers up the ink tint quite nicely. There's so much detail on this page, it's really nice. Going in with a bit of walnut brown. Hello again. I really love using pencils or ink tents. The ink tent just adds such a nice texture to the paper. To the paper. <coughs> Going in with nougat. And I will let some of the light ink tents peek through as the highlight. This is just shading. Alright, the 
up after the page is finished. Let's color these. I'll be using two colors. Chromium green opaque and earth green yellowish. Just to add some quick color to these little leaves. Here we have some stems, they will get some pine green. I'll just shade the stems here as well while we are at it. Sorry if it's a bit shaky. My tripod is standing on the book, so <laughs> makes it a little bit hard to make sure it won't shake. Might add a little bit on the leaves here as well. <coughs> All right, almost missed a bit down here. There we go. Let's color the acorn the little mouse is holding. Same colors as before, starting with dark sepia. And then I'm going in with the caput mortem. Thank you. Having so much fun on this page. And I'm going in with Walnut Brown. last some nougat <coughs> all right let me see we have this stick Going in with the dark sepia, the couple mortem and nougat, I think. This paper is actually a lot nicer with water media than pencils. So my boyfriend is just fidgeting with his backpack. But it is a live stream so I must expect some live noise noises, I think. Let's take some juniper green. I'll 
appreciate a bit here as well. Just a little bit. Mm, yeah. Going in with some May Queen. Add some dimension. <coughs> okay, let's have fun with the flowers. But first, let's see which colors. I think burnt carmine would look great with this one. Burnt carmine. Not going in too dark down here, just a little bit of definition. I think that looks nice. That watercolor we feel, but still gets some some texture. I think that looks really nice, really soft. I like that a lot. I'm taking Caput and Walton Violet now. To add some shading on these leaves. going in really softly with the pencil not pressing hard at all thank you for the hearts adding a bit of shadow between the legs of the butterfly <coughs> and shading here as well circles it really makes such a huge difference just adding a little bit of pencil so happy with this page should use ink tints like this way more often I usually just use them for backgrounds but this way they are so nice as well Please feel free to ask me anything. I will always do my best to give you an answer. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you. I'm so happy how this is turning out. Let me see. Which color should I shade this with? I think I'll try some red violet. <coughs> I'll start on this flower again. Yeah, I think I chose the right kind of color. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sometimes it's the small t finishing touches making all the difference. <laughs> oh, let's see, I'm so not the um, best person at shading flowers, but practice makes perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, I just changed my nail color. The green was chipped on my pointy finger, so I changed it. Have a good eye for color. <laughs> you noticed it. I'll add some dark up here as well. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it is fast when you have a fast drying top coat. <laughs> All right. Now for these flowers. <coughs> What kind of purple should we shade them with? I think I'll use some more. And I'm going in with glitter for all the dots in the center. I'm not going to worry too much, just going to color over them. These flowers fit nicely with the butterfly, I think. Yeah, it takes forever in Metamorphia, <laughs> but it will be stunning, I'm sure. I'm going to take a break now. Boyfriend just bought me some lunch. I will be back, I promise. Let's continue. I'm going to use a dark indigo to put a cool shadow on these mushrooms I 
and then I'll use some red violet. Oh, I'm so sorry, I was out of frame. Oops. <laughs> Wish you would tell me when that happens. There we go. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of red violet on these mushrooms as well to warm them up a little tiny bit and I'll use some more thank you very much to cool this a little bit Hello again. This time I will hopefully get finished without interruptions. <laughs> and red valid. Put the stems of the warm mushrooms. Alright, let's shade the sky. I'll start with the dark indigo. along his back and down here and for his legs a little bit along his head and the shine in his head going in with mauve again Needles. Light red violet. And thank you for the hearts. <laughs> Just lightly shading in the color. <laughs> Just ask my boyfriend if he would be so sweet to give me my shabana and my white gel pen. <laughs> All right. I think it'll. It is time for a little mouse. I will use warm grey five first the darkest parts thank you Just, I might need to sharpen this a bit Very lightly. On the back and the bow. To define the arms. 
and the loaded little chimp. inside the yeah just a little bit on top of the head and the other ear top of the little nose and around the eye The number four. Again, I'm going slit a little bit into the ear. And underneath the ear. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. I really am so happy with how this is turning out. needs any more shading let me think I'll shade the leaves here a little bit with some pine green <coughs> just to give it a little bit more definition find a dark green to make some shadows behind all these leaves oh let's see yeah we'll use this one chrome oxide green just making a tiny bit of shadow to make the eye all the small little drawings and leaves pop out even more I'm not pressing hard at all, just softly shading in. Really softly. Out there. Just going to adjust the book a bit um, so I can make a smoother shading. how the shading looks because it's a bit more zipped to the page makes it a bit more interesting and not so flat
maybe some in the sleeves. All right. All right. I think I'll add a no. We want a yeah, yes, I will. I will. <laughs> if I can decide. <laughs> If I can get the tripod to stand. Come on. There we go. <laughs> chromium oxide. No, chromium green or pink. To add some shading on the big leaves here. I think they look a bit flat. Scott? Yeah. Gul glimmer. Mm -hmm. øh, en eller anden nylak. Du må lige finde nogle forskellige. Just ask my boyfriend if it would be so sweet to get some gold nail polish for me. Because yes, we are going to play with nail polish today. I love nail polish to add glitter to my pages. the leaf Have you ever used the nail polish in your coloring books before? Let's have some fun then. I'm going to never you should you should try it. I'm going to use two different colors for the center of this flower. A China glaze strike up a cosmo and Opia ideas extravagance. Tax again. It adds something something more to the page I think don't think I do it enough <laughs> I have glitter pens as well but this is this is different this is way more glittery Yay, glitter, yes. Yay, all the glitter. I'm going to use two different kinds of purples for this. A soya one in Sansa, the another China glaze in Skyscraper. Yeah, I have used eyeshadow as well. A long time since last, but I have tried using it. Gotta be careful that it doesn't drip. Thank you. And yes, it is great and you have to try it. <laughs> Just be careful to let it dry. <laughs> Gotta shake the colors. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's fun to use unconventional art supplies sometimes. Hmm. 
makes it makes things a bit more interesting. Also, just use whatever you have. Let me show you how it look up close. If my tripod will let me, there you go. Really glittery. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to use some kind of mix. No, I think I'll only use this one. Trying to clearly strike up a customer on the mushrooms. At least the warm mushrooms. Thank you! And I'm using the sensor one for the darker mushrooms. I will make a YouTube video soon showing how you can use nail polish for backgrounds as well. That is fun! <laughs> and quite different. Oops, let's take a look at this flower. Wow. Mm, I think I'll use the skyscraper one. And the really dark purple one, the center one. Yes, me as well. I have wearing China glaze right now. <laughs> and the OPI one. There you go. And I want to add glitter to my butterfly. I'm going to use this one. This is exciting. It is called Moonlight the Night. I'm just going to add a little bit to the dark black spots. Thank you. And time for some gold glitter. What should we use? Some real gold, right? Oh, if it would focus, it would be nice. Golden eye. Make sure not to put my <coughs> stand in the nail polish. <laughs> I'm going to add some gold glitter to these leaves. too much this glitter is a bit more translucent than the other ones so you can see the lines underneath and I quite like that to the other leaf there it is <laughs> I 
<laughs> Never enough glitter. That is true. I feel like, especially when you ink use ink tints as I did on this page, um, really need some shine. I'm not sure if I should put glitter on these small tiny leaves up here. What do you think? <clears throat> I might just do it. Should I do it? Oh, I don't know. Let's do it. Just something to catch the light. And for the last one. Going in with some white gel pen now, and then the page is finished. I'm using a Uniball Signal. Just going to give them some widened eyes. Gotta be careful that I won't smear anything. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me just give you a slow view of the page. See you next time. Bye.